Right, some really important breaking news. Julian Assange has finally been released after all these years of being holed up in Belmarsh, the Ecuadorian embassy and what have you. So this is an it's important news, so we're going to find out more what's happened. So Julian Assange is released from prison, WikiLeaks says, after striking deal with the US Justice Department. It is anticipated the WikiLeaks founder will plead guilty to violating US espionage law after hearing in Saipan, wherever it is, and will be allowed to return to Australia. So Julian, Julian Assange has been released from a British prison and is expected to plead guilty to violating US espionage law, law in a deal that would allow him to return home to his native Australia. Okay, so at least it gets rid of the extradition crap. Assange, 52, agreed to plead guilty to a single criminal court of conspiring to obtain and disclose classified US national defense documents according to filings in the US District Court for the Northern Mariana Islands, wherever that is. WikiLeaks posted on social media a video of its founder boarding a flight at London Stansted Airport on Monday evening and Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese confirmed he had left the UK. Okay, so this was this, this letter. The Honourable Ramona V. Mangalana. La, la, la. Okay, there it is. So, Assange is reportedly travelling to a hearing on the island of Saipan in the northern Mariana Islands, where he will be sentenced at 9 a.m. on local, local time on Wednesday, 11 p.m. GMT Tuesday. According to Albanese, he's been accompanied by Australia's High Commis Commissioner to the UK, Stephen Smith. Regardless of the views that people have about Julian Assange and his activities, the case has been dragged on for too long, for far too long. There is nothing to be gained by his continued incarceration, yes. And we want him brought home to Australia, Albany said on Tuesday. Cool. Under the deal, which must be approved by a judge, Assange is likely to be credited for, for five years has already served and faced no new jail time. Good. And plus the years he spent in the Ecuador embassy. In a letter to a federal judge in the District Court for the Northern Mariana Islands, a senior Justice Department official said that he was being sent to Saipan because of its proximity to the defendant's country of citizenship. The official added that once the sentencing hearing is completed, Assange was expected to travel on to Australia. Okay, WikiLeaks said on Twitter that Assange had left Belmarsh prison on Monday morning after 1,901 days of captivity there, video. He had spent the time, the organisation said, in a two times three metre cell, isolated 23 hours a day. It's disgusting. Assange was set to be reunited with his wife Stella and confirmed on Twitter that he was free. Brilliant. She thanked Assange's supporters, saying, words cannot express our immense gratitude. Excuse me. In the WikiLeaks video, Assange looking healthy, good, dressed in a shirt and jeans with his white hair cut short, is seen climbing the stairs into a plane. Well, it's good, it's good, he's healthy now. We need to get him back up to health after all his years in prison. Assange's mother, Christine, welcomed the development, saying, I am grateful my son's ordeal is finally coming to an end. I think we all are. The plea agreement comes months after the US President Joe Biden said he was considering a request from Australia to drop the US push to prosecute Assange. Yeah, so we should. WikiLeaks in 2010 released hundreds of thousands of classified US military documents on Washington's wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, the largest security breaches of their kind in US military, military history, along with swaths of diplomatic cables. Excuse me. Uh, 
Assad was indicted during the former president, President Donald Trump's administration over the release of documents, which were leaked by Chelsea Manning, a former US military intelligence analyst who also was prosecuted under the Espionage Act. What about Ed Snowden? <laughs> Many press freedom advocates have argued that criminally charging Assange represents a threat to free speech. Yeah, it does. In a court document filed with the US District Court for the Northern Mariana Islands ahead of Wednesday sentencing, the US government laid out the details of a charge of conspiracy to obtain and disclose national defence information that lies at the heart of a plea deal. It accuses Assad of knowingly and unlawfully conspiring with the US Army intelligence analyst Chelsea Manning to receive and obtain documents, writings and notes connected with the national defence up to the secret level. Really. As news of the police deal spread on Monday night, there are widespread expressions of release that Assange's years-long captivity appear to be coming to an end. Hopefully it's come to an end now right now. But there's also concerns that a conviction, even on a single count, could have a devastating and prolonged impact on investigative and national security journalism. Yeah. Jamil Jafar, or Jaffer, how you say it, Executive Director of the Knight First Amendment Institute at Columbia University, which the Defence Press Freedom said that the plea deal averted the worst case scenario of a full on prosecution. But this deal contemplates that Assange will serve five years in prison for activities that journalists engage in every day. Yeah. Jaffa warned that the outcome could cast a long shadow over the most important kind of journalism, not just in this country, but around the world. Meanwhile, Mike Pence, the former US Vice President, criticised the deal, because of course he did, said he saying it was a miscarriage of justice. No, him being holed up for, all them, for those years was a miscarriage of justice. Writing on Twitter, he said there should be no plea deal to avoid prison for anyone that endangers the security of our military or the national security of the United States ever. Fuck off. Expose all your war crimes. War crimes. That's good. Assange was first arrested in Britain in 2010 on a European arrest warrant after Swedish authorities said they wanted to question him over sex crime allegations that were later dropped. He fled to Ecuador's embassy where he remained for seven years to avoid extradition to Sweden until they betrayed him. He was dragged out of the embassy in 2019 and jailed for skipping bail. He had been in London's Belmarsh top security jail ever since, from where he had been fighting extradition to the US. While in Belmarsh, Assad married his partner Stella, with whom he had two children with while he was in the Ecuadorian embassy. Hmm? Manning was sentenced to 35 years in prison after being convicted of violating the Espionage Act and other offences for leaked classified government and military documents WikiLeaks. President Barack Obama commuted the sentence in 2017, allowing for release after about seven years behind bars. Right, yeah, so he's out. Finally. Now, hopefully, this, this thing in this hearing should be the last thing in the Northern Mariana Island, whoever that is. And once that's done, he should be out completely. So this is this is brilliant news. Heck, this is some more about good good news about this. Justice finally has been served, and he's out. Good. <laughs>